my name is Leanna. I'm from imore.com and I wanted to show you my absolute favorite handwriting app for the iPad. It's called Note Shelf. So here we go. I will be using a bamboo stylus. I also have a jot stylus that I really like. Um, so yeah, this is Note Shelf and it allows me to take notes with a stylus. So really quickly there we go now you can see this is a really fine point it's very thin um, and I can change that here I also have a lot of colors to choose from which I am addicted to colors so this is just awesome and I can choose anywhere from 1 to 21 for my um, thickness so this one is thicker and then I can even go bigger Oops. And this one is huge. Um, let's see here. I can also use my highlighter, um, which comes also in several colors. Not quite as many as the pens, but that's okay. And that allows me to highlight anything that I wish. If I make a mistake, I can erase. And the eraser also has three sizes to choose from. Um, I can insert normal text if I wish. Come on, there we go. Um, let's see, I'll type I more. Ah. And I can scale it so that I'm looking at just that box. And then I can move it wherever I want. Um, while we're still on the topic of text, you can see I can change the default text size. I can also change which font that it uses. Um, this one lets me add any of the emoji symbols to my notes. Um, so they're all here. Um, so that's kind of fun. It's, it's interesting though because they have to stay small. So I, I can't make that symbol any bigger. It's stuck at that size. Um, real quick, we'll finish going through here. The next one allows me to insert a photo. So let's find a photo real quick. It actually doesn't really matter. We'll do this one. This one's cute. And um, now I can go ahead and basically add notes to my photo. Um, and if I make a mistake, I can tap this up here to undo. Oh, there's still a dot there. And the next one, I'm not going to tap. It lets me go ahead and take a photo with my iPad and import it straight into my note. So these are all the really basic features of Note Shelf. Now, one of my favorite features of Note Shelf, let's go back to this page, is that I can zoom in, which allows me to see. So look, this you can say this. It lets me get really close in on an area of my of my notes, and I can scale it down even more. So if I do that, then this is huge, um, and Ultimately, what this lets me do is be able to write smaller. So, and this is a shortcut to colors that I like. If I want to change the color that's there, I can do it like that. Um, so, let's see. Oh, this is going to be too thick of writing. Let's make it smaller. So, this is small. And I can go even smaller and probably even smaller. So it just lets me get very detailed in my notes. And it's my absolute favorite feature of Note Shelf by far because it works really well. The other thing that's really neat is I can turn on this feature called wrist protection, which is right here. And what this does is down here, it grayed all this out. So if I'm not allowed to draw here. Nothing's going to happen if I draw. If I'm not in zoomed in mode, I can move this tab. And anything below this tab gets disabled. So that if I have my wrist laying right here, it doesn't write. And you can even see if I write, it disappears. Um, and only stuff above the tab will actually work, show up. If I tap on this, I can see all of the pages that I have in this particular notebook um, and I can export the pages. I can export just one page or all of the pages 
and give it a file name and export as an image or PDF to these places. My favorite being Dropbox. I use that one all of the time. It's awesome. I can also choose different pages for my notes. Um, so, you know, there's these different um, styles of notes that I can do. Let's go ahead and see what this one looks like. I can apply it to just this page if I wish. Um, so there's a lot of them to choose from and there's also more that you can buy as an in-app purchase. You can also clear the whole page with the tap of a button. You can add tags to make your pages easier to find. Um, you can send this page directly to email, Twitter, or Facebook, um, which makes sharing really, really easy. Now you'll find all of your notes on your note shelf like this. So it's similar to iBooks. And from here, this is where I can edit information about my books, my notes. Um, if I tap this, I can choose which kind of paper I want to be throughout the entire notebook. Um, I can also, and I can go through different types of pages, um, paper, just like I did just a second ago. Um, I can also choose what notebook style that I want. These ones right here are actually designer ones that I purchased. Um, some of the ones that come for free look like this. I will admit all of the free ones are, are kind of boring. And I can do that all within here. Um, I want to cancel. There we go. Um, I can also password protect it if I wish, so that if someone opens the app, they don't have access to that particular notebook. So say if I'm using one of them as a diary, I may want to set a passcode on it. And I can also delete it. I can also stack my notebooks together um, if I wish and move them around. I can put this one before that one. Um, to create a new notebook, I just hit new and then I can decide all of this info up there's where I give it a title. And I can buy extra content here. So there are some free papers that you get as extra if you wish to download. Um, and then there's all these fun covers. Here's the striped ones. I'm probably going to buy this one next. <laughs> you can get new shelf themes. There's leather covers, journal, new stationery. That one's kind of fun. So if you wanted to send somebody a letter, for example, um, free papers, drawing papers. This might be good for the artists out there. Even some math stuff, like I see some graphs and polar coordinates. Um, designer covers. This is the one that I did buy. There's design papers and planners. And these are all available each for a dollar um, and you get them all. You can check which ones you have installed and if there's any of them that have updates you can tap that down there as well. And buying that's really easy. It's just as simple as hitting buy and then you know normal in-app purchase. So yeah there we go. That is Note Shelf on the iPad. It definitely is my absolute favorite note-taking app available in the App Store. I've tried a lot and this one just rocks my world. So again, this is Liana with iMore.com, and this was Note Shelf on the iPad.